Hi, it's Kat again from Wisley Physio Clinic. Today I'm going to be talking to you about some self-massage techniques. Massage plays a large part of what we do in physiotherapy in the clinic, whether it's treating an injury or whether it's uh, as a preventative method in large volumes of training, if you're training for a particular event at all, or again, pre-event, pre-race massage or post-event, post-race massage. And although there is absolutely no substitute for hands-on massage, there is some ways that you can release the tension in your muscles and prevent those injuries from occurring um, at home. So first of all, we're gonna talk through the foam roller. Now these come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, it depends on how much torture you want to put yourself through. Um, I know a lot of you will be missing out on the hands-on treatment in clinic um, and the pain that we normally cause you all good obviously and um, so sometimes they come with novels on them and um, you can get different lengths of the foam roller and um, it just depends on how much pressure you want to put through again you can control this in your own environment as well so first of all we're going to talk through the calf all you need to do is pop the foam roller underneath your heel and again, you can dictate how much pressure you put through the, the roller. You're gonna lift your body weight up through your hands and then you're just gonna roll up and down the full length of the muscle. Now, ideally, if you can, you want to pop one leg over the top of the other so that you add extra pressure. But again, it just depends on how tight the muscle is, how sensitive it is. Um, so you can manage the pressure yourself. So if you can, one leg over the top of the other and again, roll all the way up and all the way down throughout the muscle. Now your calf is quite a big muscle, so we generally recommend that you roll the inside of the calf. And you want to do at least eight reps up and down the muscle. But again, depends on how tight the muscle is. You can do this for 30 seconds to a minute. You should hopefully start to feel the muscle release underneath the pressure. So once you've done the inside, then go straight down the middle. And you want to go through the full length of the muscle. And then for the calf again, roll over onto the outside. This one will target the perineals as well. So again, weight the leg down with your other leg and roll all the way up and down the full length of the muscle. Now the great thing about foam rollers is you can use this for every single muscle in the body. And like I say, you can dictate how much pressure you put through. So again, we'll go through a few other muscles so you get an idea. You can do the hamstrings. So roll up and down the full length of the hamstring. Again, you can bias the inner part and the outer part of the hamstring just by tilting your body slightly. So again, roll all the way up and all the way down. Okay, and you can do the outside of the hamstring as well. So again, tilt the opposite way. Roll all the way up and all the way down. You can do your IT band as well. So again, this time you want to roll over onto your side. And again, you can roll the full length of your IT band. This one's not very pleasant, but it's good for you. And again, roll all the way up and down the full length of that IT band. Quads, you're doing exactly the same way, lying on the front. Again, you can stick one leg over the top of the other, just to weight it down slightly, and you can roll the full length of that quad as well. Okay, you can even use the foam roller for the lower back. So again, stick 
rest your back on the roller, bridge, so just squeeze your bottom muscles and lift your hips up off the mat and then roll up and down the roller. Make sure you don't get your hair trapped underneath the roller. Okay, so that's the foam roller. We do have some other bits and pieces in our toolbox that can be used. Um, so you've got the spiky massage ball. If you don't have one of these at home, then these can easily be substituted with just a standard tennis ball, hockey ball, lacrosse ball, um, whatever you've got lying around, fight the dog for it. Um, I generally tend to find the tennis ball more effective to do glutes than the, um, the foam roller. So it's a little bit more specific in getting into those deep muscles. So for the glute in particular, sit on your, on your tennis ball or your spiky ball, whichever you've got, and then put the muscle on a little bit of a stretch. So rest that leg on the outside of your other leg and then just sit and roll on the tennis ball. Find those sore bits, work into those. Again, you can dictate how much pressure you put through and then just work around into those areas, hold it in on those particular tight spots and then gently massage around. So that works really nicely to release the tension in the glute. Again, this little muscle on the outside of your hip, the tennis ball is really good getting in there. So TFL muscle, if you lie on your side, again, prop up on your, on your forearm and trap the ball underneath that little area at the top of your hip and you can just bend and straighten that leg out there and that allows the muscle to contract underneath the pressure of where the ball is and it releases around the top of the hip Again, not exactly pleasant but at least you've got control over it rather than when you're in with us in clinic a uh, tennis ball again you can use for the lower back muscles you can pinpoint those big muscles of the lower back and just roll up and down on there also works really well for getting in and around the shoulder um, so you can get in and around the shoulder blade you can either do it in line and again just roll up and down on the ball or you can pinpoint an area and move the arm up and down and this also works really nicely against the wall if you want to pinpoint the ball against the wall in your back and again you can bend your knees and roll up and down on the ball or again pinpoint the area and move the arm up and down or across your body just to get in those muscles around the shoulder blades okay so that's the ball the other nice thing for the lower back is taping two tennis balls together and we generally call these a peanut but it's actually a monkey nut if we're going to be specific um, and when you take two balls together, you've got that little gap in the middle, which allows your spinal processes to just sit and rest in there so that the balls roll on the muscles either side of your spine. So again, rest your back on the ball, lift your bum up. And again, you just walk your feet forwards and backwards and roll your back up and down on the balls. And again, you can do this for any area of your spine right up at the top in between your shoulder blades as well finally just going to talk you through the the golf ball and um, these work really nicely for things like plantar fasciitis so any tightness underneath the foot and um, you can again massage with either a golf ball and um, you can use a cold can or a frozen bottle of water and again just place the ball underneath your foot and all you're going to do is just roll the ball underneath the foot so same principles apply, try 30 seconds to a minute. You can do this just sat watching the TV. And again, keep working on that until you feel that the muscle starts to relax underneath the foot. Okay, self-massage, give it a go.